morning, what's up? Hope you guys are having an amazing Sunday. Well, it's Sunday for me. I don't know what day it is by the time you guys are watching this video. But I just want to say uh, hello since I haven't posted in a while, actually in a long time. I don't want you guys to think that I'm not vlogging anymore. It's just that my life has been complicated uh, with a new baby. But um, today we're going to go to a Carson Coffee in Miami. I know this is an event that they do in many other cities around the United States. Um, this is Miami, my city, uh, the capital of the world. Nowadays, it's not New York anymore. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm gonna try to show you some of the best cars here at this show. They're doing it every second Sunday of each month at a mall called International Mall in Doral. So hope you guys enjoyed this video. Be sure to give it a like, subscribe, share, since that's gonna help the rating of this video. And YouTube and Facebook is gonna um, share the video all over the platform. Let's go guys. Guys, let me know. Let me know if in your city you also have this mix of classic cars and new cars at your local cars and coffee. I made a video about this truck a while ago. These are the, um, the compressor for the airbag. And as you can see, the frame is completely exposed. This is an original Long Island electric power company. Beautiful GMC. I know many of you guys don't like the stock classic cars like this one. You guys prefer it to be more on airbags and that type of content that I have gotten you guys used to in the past. But man, you gotta love these trucks. Even if they are original or on uh, custom. Let me know in the comments down below if you have this truck, will you leave it like that or will you shop it and drop it? Not shop it, but maybe cut it up, see notch it and drop it. For those of you guys that love the F100, there's one over here. It's got the beautiful Firestone wheels or tires. I was gonna get that fucking spot, but I thought it was uh, 
I thought it belonged to the car wash and I didn't get it. I actually know the owner of this truck. By the way, look. Thank you for the support, bro. If you're watching this video, thank you, man. It's needless to say to give this video a big like and subscribe if it is your first time passing by the channel. It's really gonna help me a lot. Tell me if there's anything more pretty than a 57 convertible. I'm not a big fan of the 57 Chevy. I like more than 55 and the 56. And I like even more than 55 than the 56. But if it is convertible, I'll stay with the 57 all day. I have something here that I know none of you guys have ever seen before and this is a 1962 Renault look at this you have the gas tank in the front the battery it's got a rock top we're gonna be doing a video of this car look at the seats And now look at the engine. I'm not gonna spoil the news, but we're gonna be doing a nice video of this car, so stay tuned. You guys are gonna like it. Here's the owner. Alright, I'm gonna give you guys a little bit of what you guys like. Let's start by this C10, owned by my buddy Carlos. He hasn't driven this thing in a long time. There's also a video of this truck with the owner on some of my previous videos. 
you just gotta scroll through the videos and you're gonna see this truck if you wanna see more details of it. Tell me how many of you are a big fan of Volkswagen Beetles. This one belongs to my buddy Carlos. Beautiful car, man. Great patina. Original paint. I would love to have one of these cars. And today is my lucky day. I was walking and look what I saw under a car. 20 bucks, man. I'm gonna play the lotto and see if I win it today. So right behind me, we have a 1964 Volkswagen bus. Beautiful car. We're gonna be making a video about this car. Even if you're not a Volkswagen fan, you're gonna love this video because the owner has so much knowledge about these cars and the difference between the ones that they make in Germany and Brazil and all the extras and the fishes that it's got. You guys are gonna love this video. Look at how many windows he has. It has a rock top, a, um, a roof rack. It's beautiful, man. Wait for that video. You guys are really gonna like it. But I have never been a big fan of imports. Um, I've always liked American cars for daily driver. And to enjoy, I've always liked classic American cars from the 50s and 40s and the 60s. People go crazy with these imports. Look at Cobra. There's a Nissan 240 with the hood open and people are just going crazy over it. I mean, it's nice, but it's not something that I will go crazy over. And next to it, we have a Mazda RX-7 hooked up to an electric car charger. That's funny. I would have done that too. guys it was a pleasure seeing old friends people that i haven't seen in a long time since before the pandemic it was good catching up hope you guys enjoyed this video i had a good time a bunch of new old cars that i haven't seen before uh, but like always you get a mix of everything there and that's one thing that i don't like about this event when they mix new with old school cars let me know what your opinion is give this video a like subscribe and follow us on social media at Generation Old School on Instagram and Facebook. Thank you guys and we'll see you guys in the next one.